Hey folks, I'm doing another quick modification on the 2023 Indian Scout Rogue. My clutch lever broke when a strap in my trailer came loose and the bike rubbed up against the wall. You can see here where I smoothed the jagged edges with a grinder and flap disc. The brake lever is fine, but I planned on replacing the levers with shorties, so this is a good time to do that. I bought these adjustable levers from a company in the Netherlands called LSL. These are the Ergonia levers. The clutch and brake levers are sold separately. They're a bit pricey, but they're well made and adjustable in length and distance from the bars. The installation is extremely easy. These are the tools I'll use. Crescent wrench, utility knife or razor blade, 10 mm socket wrench, 5 mm Allen wrench, grease and lube. I'll start with the clutch lever first. Use the crescent wrench to rotate the clutch shaft arm and push the cable barrel out of the mount. Now the tension is released from the lever. This plug covers the bolt head and there's a nut below. Use a utility knife to pop the plug out. The plastic is thin so be gentle with your blade. I initially tried to use a pick to get the plugs out, but a blade works better. Try not to lose the plug like I just did. Next, use the 10 mm socket and 5 mm Allen to remove the nut and bolt that hold the lever in place. We're going to reuse the plastic plug, bolt, and nut so set them aside. Flip the lever upside down so you can see the cable barrel more easily and remove it from its cradle. While I'm swapping out the levers, I'll clean the barrel and lightly lube the clutch cable. The bike has less than 1,000 miles on it, so the cable should be in good shape. I don't see a need to fully oil the cable at this point. I'm just going to use some all-purpose grease on the cable barrel. Install the new lever by inserting the cable barrel on the lever and put it in place so the holes are aligned. Put some grease in the hole on the new lever and add grease to the shaft of the bolt. The bolt threads into the casting of the controls and the nut. Tighten everything down. Now I'll just clean this and add a dollop of grease to the barrel. Then we'll use the crescent wrench again to connect the cable. I'm just testing the lever to see how that feels and make sure the tension feels right. Later, I'll start the bike up to test the clutch lever to make sure it's engaging and disengaging correctly. The brake lever is easier. There's not a cable to loosen, so it's just a matter of removing the plug, bolt, and nut using the same tools we used on the clutch lever. The adjuster knob allows you to choose the distance between the grips and your levers. The package came with a tool to twist the knob, but it can easily be done without it. The sliders can be adjusted to extend about an inch longer when fully extended, so you always have your handle in your suitable length. Use the supplied Allen key to loosen the bolt on the slider and adjust it to your liking. I'm going to start with the shortest setting since I was hoping to reduce the length of the stock levers anyway. All said and done, I think it looks good. I'm ready to go for a test ride to see how these feel. 